been a real cloudy, foggy morning and the clouds finally lifted and we've spotted a band of rams right over the other side of this valley here. We'll be putting a sneak on them. Hopefully we'll uh, hopefully there'll be two legal rams in there because we've got Justin and Daryl with us, so with a bit of luck. We've spotted some rams from down below. It's a dozen rams. We didn't think we could get close enough coming up through the bottom with the wind and the amount of cover. So we made a long circle down, came back up above them, and we are right even with them. And we've confirmed that there's a couple nice rams in there we're going to kill. And uh, we're getting ready to get into position. And we're going to turn and we're going to step over this ridge, crawl up there, and we're going to spank some rams. All right. You see him still, Justin? Uh -uh. Yours is going up. You see him, Justin? Uh -uh. The highest one. The highest one. Take your time, take your time. Okay, you hit him. He's hit. Yeah, 12 rams down there, two dead ones now. <laughs> Smile, guys. Justin, what do you think? That's what we come to Alaska for. It, it was hard won, but we won it. Well done. <laughs> Here we are amongst the successful hunters. Indeed, two, two nice magnificent rams. rams. They made some excellent shots. Can't complain about that. Not at all. Do have a bit of a carry out of here though. A few hours of carrying. But that's uh, what it's all about, huh boys? It's yeah, worth it. Right. Absolutely. Yep. The easy part shooting it, isn't it? Yep. The hard work starts once you shot it. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> yep. But it'll all be worthwhile when we get back to base camp, huh? Now mm, how many days did we hunt, Ryan? Well actually you and I have been hunting for probably five days. Actual five days of actual hunting in the field in the field been here for eight days eight days yep. and Daryl how many days have you been hunting two days <laughs> <laughs> that's well, all we, we needed that oh, was a little bit of luck coming with us that's it all must we needed that kiwi luck you know that's uh, the kiwi luck double kiwis <laughs> double rams there it is all right <laughs> thanks Brian all right man good thanks, job Daryl. good job excellent
Well, we've just peeked out in the saddle uh, carrying these rams out. Quite a climb up here. We shot the rams over in there and uh, yeah, we just walked up through this low saddle and dropping down the valley here to camp. Camp is down there. Well, we made it back to camp. <clears throat> We're, uh, it's a pretty happy camp this afternoon. A couple of dead rams. Well, we've just uh, we've just ridden the horses up out of our spike camp down in here. Come up through this low saddle. Well, as low as you could possibly imagine it could be. It's quite a quite a high pass, but it's quite doable. We're heading down right down this valley here. And campers down there about 16 miles so about another probably another five and a half to six hours of riding but we've got a beautiful day for it it's a good day for a ride so best we get after it on our way down the steep face we found these rock ptarmigan It's amazing, isn't it? Never seen people before. I don't think these birds have ever seen people before. They're just so tame. They were walking between our legs before. They were just coming up to us. They have no fear of us whatsoever. They're just amazing. Little time again. Well, we're hunting now. Uh Moose now. We um, shot our dull ram a couple of days ago. The moose season opened up this morning, so we're out looking for a moose to shoot. And we've been sitting here glassing for a couple of hours and spotted a quite a nice bull down here on this face opposite opposite us here. He's, he's quite a nice bull, but not quite what we're looking for. There's a couple of nice bulls, a young one and a, a bull that's pretty nice but he's he's only got two brow tines on each side and they have to have four on each side to be legal or 50 inches wide and I'm guessing that he's probably 46, 47 inches wide so we won't be going after him today. Well we've just seen a, a really good bull down the hill here. Zoom in on him. Daryl and I have been floundering around in here for about two hours. As you can see, it's not easy to spot these moose. It's really high. We're having trouble looking down here, but we, we're about 200 yards from them right now. We've just spotted a little bit of antler down here, and uh, we're going to try and get a shot from this, from this tree here. Hopefully, we'll get a bit of a lane where we can get a shot at them. The wind is perfect. It's coming up the hill, so we're, we're pretty lucky in that sense. So uh, let's give it a try.
we only had a front-on shot at this big bull, so we needed to wait for the bull to turn enough so we could make the 150-yard shot. He dropped like a sack of shit, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are. We did the big ninja in on this guy. Took us a few hours to get him. But we got him. Yes, he's a beautiful big moose. Um, far better than one, anything I expected to shoot over here. We come over with the attitude of just shooting an average representative trophy and we've ended up with <laughs> this extraordinary big boy, so we're really wrapped. He's a very big moose. He's, we're guessing he's between 66 and 68 inches wide. He's got 14 inch palms and uh, 28 points. He's uh, about as big as moose get, so that's fantastic. Well done, Daryl. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Brian. That's <laughs> very, very, very good. We spotted this boy about midday. We climbed up high after looking for him this morning and uh, we spotted him and that was about midday and we shot him about 10 past 2 I think. It took us two hours to stalk in and locate him. And this brush is a lot higher than it looks and these moose and this, these, uh, this undulating country in here and it was really hard to spot him. We actually ended up spotting with just a tiny little lane. We spotted a bit of antler and then had to move around to the side and we found a lane that we could shoot through and as you could see we had just had to wait for him to turn a little bit so we could get a shot down into the shoulder and uh, 150 yard shot, Daryl did a fantastic job with, with that, didn't go anywhere, just dropped right here in this nice puddle of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're about uh, probably about seven or eight miles from camp and as you can see we've got quite a job ahead of us with uh, working on this thing and getting it back to camp but luckily we've got uh, the mules to um, pack them out so we'll work on them today, leave them here, come back in the morning and um, pick them up with the, with the donkeys and head back to camp. Yes, the work just begins. They're shooting is the easy part of them. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly is. Boy what a moose, well done Daryl. Mm. Thanks Brian. Well here we are, the work the real work is about to begin. My little knife is somehow going to turn this big animal into manageable pieces. And Daryl informs me he wants a full body. Yeah. Give you something to do. Well, thank goodness he was only kidding. <laughs> no, I'm serious actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he is fat. Whoa. Whoa good sharp knife, eh? Alright, next time you see him he'll be in bits I guess. Look at the thickness of that. In hole. bits and uh, hanging, hanging on my wall in New Zealand. Yeah, he bought a one way ticket to New Zealand didn't he? Yeah. Big time fat. Big, big time fat. Well, it's the next day, and uh, we're back in here with the horses and the mule, and we've got all the meat and what have you, and the horns packed up, and we're ready to head back to camp. So, with a bit of luck, we'll get back without too many uh, problems. <laughs> what do you think, Daryl? Yeah, certainly a, a big job, these moose. Um, Four horses to pack it out, and a couple of, for us to ride as well, so we've brought six horses up here today. 
and hopefully they all follow each other nicely home. Well, we're heading out. We've got everything loaded and everything seems to be going pretty good at the moment. 